sir we are uh, live now uh, so we can uh... yeah, that's good uh, have you uh, shared that link with the students uh, yes sir yes sir i'm uh, letting in uh, students now okay yeah. because we all uh, are there yes sir please proceed Uh, sir, I have uh, admitted some students as well. So, uh, once we are ready, we can uh, start, sir. Uh, yes, sir, we are live now. Namita, ma'am? Yes. Okay, shall we start? Boom card, sir, and I already do. Uh, yes, please. Okay. So, yes, a very fresh good morning to one and all present over here. So at first, on behalf of Yashwatra Bhosle oh, College of... Hello. Uh, Satya, sir, can you please mute your mic? Okay. So on behalf of Yashwatra Bhosle College of Pharmacy, I am Ms. Namita Bhosle, Assistant Professor, uh, Department of Pharmaceutics and Training Placement Coordinator, would like to extend a warm welcome to all of you to this Industry Expert Lecture Series 1. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome our Honorable Administrative Coordinator of Postal Knowledge City, Mr. Sunetra Fatak, ma'am. Dear all, today we, we are honored to have with us the eminent personalities from the industries as our guest speakers for our today's session. So I'd like to welcome Honorable Mrs. Madhura Gune, ma'am, Unit Head and Production Manager at SG Phyto Pharma Private Limited, Kolhapur. Heartiest welcome, ma'am. Also, I'd like to welcome Honorable Mr. Sanjeev Gubbi, sir, Manager in Proje Project Management and R&D at Teva Pharmaceuticals, Goa. Heartiest welcome, sir. I would like to welcome the Beagle Principal of Yashwantra Bhosle College of Pharmacy, Honorable Dr. Vijay Jagdap, sir. I would like to welcome Honorable Mr. Satyajit Sathe, sir, the Beagle Principal of Yashwantra Bhosle College of T Pharmacy. 
I would like to welcome respected Mr. Umkar Pense, sir, the training placement coordinator and HOD of Integrated D Pharmacy. And finally, I would like to welcome all the delegates and participants to this virtual industry expert lecture series one. So dear students, the objective behind arranging this kind of session that is industry expert lecture is to enhance your educational experience and to expose you all to the real world life experience. And I think industry expert lecture is the link that students get to make between what they learn in their, in their textbook and what they learn from the industrial expert speaker. And uh, our today's guest speakers have a huge industrial experience and definitely you all get to see the insights and perspective of the guest speakers particular field during the session. So as we all know, even if we are conducting the sessions online, we can't forget our tradition. So like every other auspicious event, let's start this event by virtual lamp lighting ceremony. Thank you so much, Omka, sir, for this beautiful lamp lighting song. Now, I would like to request the beloved principal of Yashwantra Bosley College of Pharmacy, Honorable Dr. Vijay Jagdap, sir, to present a welcome address. Uh, thank you very much, ma'am. Uh, very good morning to all of you. Uh, Sri Yashwantra Bosley Education Society, it's uh, Yashwantra Bosley College of Pharmacy, organized uh, industry expert lecture, Randevu. Uh, 2022. Uh, uh, it's been a, a very great pleasure to meet uh, the all honorable case today uh, through virtually. Uh, first of all, I'd like to welcome once again uh, Honorable Sunetra Fatak, ma'am, uh, Administrative Coordinator of Postal Knowledge City, and uh, another guest uh, who is uh, actually our friend and IPSC coordinator uh, with the team of IPSC also, that is uh, Mr. Uh, Sanju uh, Gubbi sir. And I'd like to welcome a special uh, welcome to the Honorable uh, Mrs. Uh, Madhura Gune ma'am uh, from the NG5 to uh, you know, uh, industries of uh, Kolapur. So the uh, real objective behind the, uh, organizing this program is already uh, told by the our training and placement officer Navita Muslima. Uh, and uh, if you see that nowadays the industry expert uh, you know, lectures uh, have become an important uh, uh, part of the educational experience for the students. And knowing this, uh, Yashantra Gosley College of Pharmacy has taken um, uh, very much uh, uh, in the starting the initiation. Uh, since from the uh, 2019 itself and we have organized uh, such type of uh, expert lecture series every year. Uh, in 2019, it was a grand uh, program we have organized uh, through offline and uh, later uh, due to COVID and pandemic, uh, uh, it has been restricted to the virtual program. But uh, as we know that every crisis gives us opportunity. So uh, nevertheless, uh, we are organizing this through virtual. And we have continued this uh, series uh, in 2020, then 21 also, and right now in 22. So it's been a uh, useful for the student. Uh, as we know that due to pandemic, uh, there are restrictions for the industrial visit and exposure to the student directly uh, to the industrial world. So it is always beneficial if suppose uh, the honorable guest uh, like you from the industries if interacting with the students and gives the actual the real world experience to them, uh, it would uh, some uh, at the some level uh, they will have beneficial in their futuristic approach. Uh, I'm very much uh, happy to share with you that uh, right now three batches has been passed out uh, through the uh, Yashantra Bosley College of Pharmacy with the P-Pharmacy program. 
and right now uh, this year we will have one more uh, master degree uh, pharmacy batch whose uh, specialization is pharmaceutics will be passing out uh, this year so uh, we are creating such type of uh, environment to the student that uh, they will have much more interest not only in the uh, industrial base but also they must be uh, go through the research uh, point of view so hoping that uh, right now the students uh, not only from the pg but also from the ug uh, will take uh, much more interest in the research field and they will prove that why the cp students can do better also in the r and d department uh, right now 30 to 40% of students uh, those have already uh, batch passed out uh, three batches from them uh, are working in the industries and they have very uh, what you can say the uh, use experience uh, in the daily to day life because actual the book knowledge and uh, the actual real knowledge it's always a difference and we are always trying to uh, minimize that curriculum gap or whatever the expectations from the industries um through the syllabus uh, uh, discussions and through the university uh, board of studies and uh, uh, through the organizing uh, various industrial visit or expert lectures and hopefully uh, both of you will give your uh, insight to the our student and student will also have the more focus and i would like to appeal our student also that uh, please uh, feel free to ask uh, any queries or questions to the gupi sir as well as kune ma'am they are all, uh, always there not only through the virtual but i am giving you assurity you can call them at any time also and they are very much friendly and uh, uh, will have a very good session and this is the series 1 uh, stay tuned that will be organizing series 2 in the next month uh, maybe in the first or second week we'll have some experts from the marketing also and definitely will have a uh, what we say a feast Uh, thank you thank you very much thank you so much sir for your welcome address as well as motivating words now i'd like to request the administrative coordinator of osle knowledge city honorable mrs sunitra fatak ma'am to say few words on this event namita yes yes ma ha ah. good morning to all on behalf of management i wish you all the success for this function and uh, hope all the students will make use of this opportunity and uh, feel free to discuss with industry experts and make use of this uh, whatever you have organized so wish you all the best thank you Thank you, thank you so much, ma'am, for your best wishes. Mm -hmm. Now, with the due permission of principal, sir, I would like to conclude this inaugural session. Okay. So, at at first, I'd like to thank uh, Honorable Mrs. Sunitra Fatak, ma'am, the administ administrative coordinator of Postal Knowledge City, for your precious presence for this uh, inaugural session. i would like to thank honorable mr sanjeev gubbi sir for your valuable time to this inaugural session also i'd like to thank honorable mrs madhura guni ma'am for your precious presence i would like to thank honorable dr vijay jagtap sir for presenting a welcome address i would like to thank the principal of yashwantra bosle college of b pharmacy honorable mr satyajit sathe sir for your valuable presence respected mr omkar pense sir for your kind cooperation thank you so much all so here with i declare that the inaugural session is concluded and now without wasting so much time let's can we have a group photo ma'am please yes yes uh, i request all yes, of sir. you to please start your camera start your video we will take one group photo just a moment sir
yes sir thank you yes thank you so much all so let's begin with our first session but before that it's my honor to introduce you all our today's guest speaker for this session one honorable mrs madhura manoj gune ma'am she is unit head and production manager at sg phyto pharma private limited kolhapur so ma'am has completed her pg dba that is post graduate diploma in business administration at wellinkar university mumbai she has completed msc in analytical and industrial chemistry with first class at sndt university mumbai ma'am has a huge industrial experience she has completed two months industrial training in ipca laboratories mumbai worked in a product registration seal in okasa pharma mumbai for 10 months and interacted with almost 12 countries with dosia preparation for product registration she has 5 years experience in the laboratory sg phyto pharma private limited as a chemist 7 years experience in formulation and packaging unit as a production manager she had 7 years experience in establishing iso as a management representative and since 2015 she is working as a production manager at manufacturing unit her area of interest is in manufacturing ayurvedic medicines in a traditional and holistic manner training and developing moral supports in a worker ma'am is fd approved technical person for ayurvedic preparation also she has knowledge about bulk drug analysis in dosier preparation i request all the students please mute your devices okay she has a huge knowledge about ayurvedic formulations like capsules bhasma ableha taila churna she has a knowledge about requirements for iso and gmp certification working knowledge for production qc iso etc department and apart from this she has also participated in number of extra curricular activities such as yoga program walkathon etc and active participation in seminars on iso kaizen and workshops like commit to mastery etc so now i would like to request our today's guest speaker honorable mrs madhura gune ma'am to take over the session thank you ma'am uh, am i audible yes ma'am okay uh, uh, so ma'am uh, do you need yes, uh, access for sharing Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Just a, just a second. Yes, I have stopped my sharing, uh, and uh, I have given access to you. Uh, just a second. I will. Yes, yes, ma'am. is the screen visible uh, no ma'am it's just uh, showing me that uh, madhura gune has started screen sharing uh uh it's showing a sharing is paused but, but okay just a moment Uh, yes, ma'am. It's now. I can see this now. Okay. Okay. So uh, there is some technical issues in the factory. So I cannot uh, switch on my um, video camera. So sorry for that. 
No issues, ma'am. Yeah. In all, uh, respected professors, principal, and uh, all the students, uh, first of all, I will like to thank uh, Principal Sir and all the staff of Yashwantra Bhosle College of Pharmacy for giving me this opportunity for uh, share my knowledge with the students. Uh, actually, due to COVID, we are unable to have one-to-one -one contact uh, that is coming in the college for the guest lecture or expert lecture. But we are becoming or we are expertizing in technical aspects like this webinars and all. So uh, today I am going to share some information regarding pharmaceutical manufacturing, uh, specifically Ayurvedic manufacturing processes. As SG Phytopharma Private Limited is a basically Ayurvedic industry, Ayurvedic pharmacy. So I will uh, highlight some aspects of Ayurvedic manufacturing. So I don't know. Uh, uh, which uh, means how much portion is covered in uh, uh, college regarding Ayurveda or how much weightage is given for Ayurvedic manufacturing uh, in pharmacy. But I will share some basic concepts. So firstly, what is actually pharmaceutical manufacturing that we will see? It is related to uh, basically Ayurveda or homeopathy or any allopathy industry, pharmaceutical manufacturing processes are same. The pharmaceutical industry develops, produces and markets drugs or pharmaceuticals for use as medications. These concepts may be you are knowing. Uh, pharmaceutical companies may deal in generic or brand medications and medical devices. Recently, these generic and brand medication concepts are uh, very much in use or going on. So you all, you all are knowing these concepts. They are subject to variety of laws and regulations that govern the patenting, testing, safety, efficacy, and marketing of drugs. So these all concepts are there in pharmaceutical manufacturing. How to manufacture? How uh, which regulations are there for pharmaceutical manufacturing? This all we are going to see. So pharmaceutical manufacturing drugs and medicines, drugs versus medicine. Every medicine is a drug, but not every drug is a medicine, right? The purpose of medicine is to prevent, cure a disease. It is a product produced to impart positive medical effect on a patient. A positive effect on a patient. It is uh, used to cure or prevent a disease. But in contrast, drug is drug can have positive or negative effect. When narcotics, stimulants, or steroids. Also on patient, some steroids act as a medicine. steroids give negative effect. So steroids are uh, not used as a medicine in most of the cases. Oh. So what are the statutory and regulatory requirements regarding pharmaceutical industry? There is FDA or Drugs and Cosmetic Act, uh, that is FDA manufacturing license. To produce any product, we have to keep or we have to get license for that particular product from Drugs and Cosmetic Act or FDA, Food and Drug Administration Office. We have to, uh, we have compulsory manufacturing license for each and every product which are which we are going to uh, produce. Then apart from that, there is a Factory Act. So manufacturing license from FDA is for a product, a particular product. But when we are dealing with a factory, we are uh, developing or building a factory and running an industry, we have a factory license for uh, that particular factory. Then there is a Vets and Majors Act. So uh, now you must be knowing, you must have seen, uh, there is a label on each and every medical medicine. So it uh, includes net volume or gross volume, gross weight, these all are given. So what there, what, what should be written on particular label? That all is given in weights and major acts. Uh, previously, we will be using GM for gram. 
there was uh, a tradition of using gm or noting gm as a gram but now as per weights and measure act we have to write only g not gm suppose a weight of a particular uh, powder is 60 grams so we have to write 60g not 60 gm so these all concepts are given in weights and measure act and that according to that we have to label on each and every product then there is a pollution certificate we all know pollution so whenever we are running a factory any industry we are running we have to keep in mind that our uh, waste product that is uh, being generated after that production should be within limit certain limit for ayurveda there is a uh, permission of orange zone for pollution certificate there are various zones green zone yellow zone orange zone red zone white zone like this there are various certificates uh, so for ayurveda as there are bhasma preparation and all the uh, heat preparations are going on so it is permissible in orange zone and there are uh, midc rules and regulations particular midc likewise uh, we have here goko shirgav midc so where whichever midc is there for that particular area uh, their rules and regulations should be considered to run any factory or industry so these are basic uh, statutory and regulatory requirements needed for any pharmaceutical manufacturing process so am i going fast uh no ma'am yeah okay thank you so in fda or drug and cosmetic act there is a concept of gmp good manufacturing practices likewise there is good laboratory practices glp also there for uh, qc or quality control department so we will see now for production that is good manufacturing practices in pharma industries a drug can be treated as adulterated even if it pass or comply all the final specifications but are found to be manufactured in a condition where good manufacturing practices are not followed properly uh, i will uh, speak something in marathi also uh, for better understanding uh, we all know adulteration means there is a addition of some other drug in basic drug so we know that bhesal we call in marathi bhesal bhesal kadhi aste jeva ekhadya drug madhe dusra drug add kele kiwa ekhadya product madhe dusra product add kele asel so we call it as adulterated but when a drug is manufactured in uh, un uh, shabby or what we can say je proper environment madhe jar prepare kelela nasel so that drug is also called called as adulterated regulatory agencies like fda can inspect the manufacturing firm for compliance of good manufacturing practices with or without prior notice in a reasonable time manje kadhi hi fda chi manse yeun prior notice devu hi shaktat otherwise they denar hi nahi they can visit any industry and they can uh, inspect the industry for good manufacturing practices ani te sage चेक केलं जातं तुमच्याकडे सगळं जी एम पी प्रॉपर होत आहे का नाही प्रॉडक्ट प्रॉपरली प्रिपेअर केलंय का नाही ह्या सगळ्या गोष्टी त्यांच्या इन्स्पेक्शन मध्ये कव्हर केल्या जातात सो इफ एफ डी ए पर्सन हु इज टेक्निकल पर्सन हु इज इन्स्पेक्टिंग द फॅक्टरी अँड ही फाउंड दॅट देर इज नो जी एम पी इन द फॅक्टरी नो गुड मॅन्युफॅक्चरिंग प्रॅक्टिसेस आर फॉलोड इन द फॅक्टरी देन वॉट विल बी द कॉन्सिक्वेन्सेस ऑफ नॉन कम्प्लायन्स ऑफ जी एम पी every business not only pharmaceutical industry every each and every business is basically set up for profit but even jar ekhada fda person la vatla ki he gmp follow hot nahi hai it a good manufacturing practices follow kela jat nahi hai so they can uh, means there will be bad impact on our product आणि ते प्रॉडक्ट जर आपलं मार्केट मध्ये बॅड इम्पॅक्ट मध्ये गेलं देन वी वी विल हॅव टू फेस द लॉस अँड दॅट इज नॉट द एम ऑफ द एनी बिझनेस 
नाउअडेज देर इज सोशल नेटवर्किंग सोशल मीडिया त्याचं खूपच सगळीकडे चालू असतं सगळ्यांनाच माहितीये की आता कोविडमुळे तर आणि हे सोशल मीडियाचं सगळं वाढलेलं आहे सो देअर विल बी व्हेरी बॅड पब्लिसिटी इन सोशल मीडिया रिगार्डिंग धीस आणि हे ट्रोलिंग केलं जातं लगेच एखादी गोष्ट कुठेही काहीही घडली तर त्याचा लगेच 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 इम्पॅक्ट होतो लगेच त्याचे मेसेजेस तयार केले जातात फॉरवर्ड केले जातात आणि व्हेरी बॅड माउथ पब्लिसिटी किंवा सोशल मीडियावरती आपली बॅड पब्लिसिटी होऊ शकते then there will be product recall whatever product we have dispatched in the market we have to call back that product as fd has a compulsion regarding this not following the gmp mat je kahi market madhe aapla product gelela ahe te sagla thikanaun parat magun tyachavarti aplyala reprocessing karav lagta ani he sagla parat aapla ha kharcha vadla so tyache charges ale ani he parat aapla sagla loss kade apan jato आणि ह्या सगळ्याच टोटल इम्पॅक्ट काय होतो जर हे असंच चालू राहिलं जर लॉस राहिला माउथ पब्लिसिटी बॅड माउथ पब्लिसिटी झाली प्रॉडक्ट जर आपल्याला वारंवार रिकॉल करायला लागले देन वी विल हॅव टू शट डाऊन द इंडस्ट्री दीज ऑल आर दी कॉन्सिक्वेन्सेस ऑफ नॉन कम्प्लायन्स ऑफ जी एम पी नॉट फॉलोइंग गुड मॅन्युफॅक्चरिंग प्रॅक्टिसेस इन एनी इंडस्ट्री प्रिव्हियसली देअर वॉज नो एफ डी ए नो शेड्यूल टी फॉर आयुर्वेदा देर वॉज ओनली मॅन्युफॅक्चरिंग अँड मार्केटिंग रिगार्डिंग दिस आयुर्वेदिक प्रॉडक्ट बट नाव देअर इज सेपरेट क्लॉज ऑर सेपरेट शेड्यूल फॉर आयुर्वेदिक मॅन्युफॅक्चरिंग ऑल्सो इन ड्रग्ज अँड कॉस्मेटिक ऍक्ट सो जी एम पी मीन्स वॉट जी एम पी कवर्स ऑल आस्पेक्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन मेटेरियल प्रिमायसेस अँड इक्विपमेंट टू द ट्रेनिंग अँड पर्सनल हायजीन ऑफ स्टाफ मॅन मेथड अँड मशिनरी ऑल प्रोसेसेस ऑल थिंग्स मॅन्युफॅक्चरिंग प्रॅक्टिसेस देन वॉट आर द रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ जी एम पी जी एम पी नीड्स डिटेल्ड रिटर्न प्रोसिजर्स are essential for each process that could affect the quality of finished product pratyek process ji detailed information detailed procedures means batch manufacturing card standard rasta te kiwa sop standard operating procedures for each and everything we have to keep then there must be systems to provide documented proof that describes procedures are consistently followed at each step इन द मॅन्युफॅक्चरिंग प्रोसेस एव्हरी टाइम अ प्रॉडक्ट इज मेड एक प्रॉडक्ट आहे आपला एक आपण तयार केला आणि तो एकदा मार्केटमध्ये गेला की त्याच्यानंतरच्या ज्या बॅचेस तयार होणार तर त्याप्रमाणेच केल्या म्हणून त्याचे रेकॉर्ड ठेवले नाहीत असं चालत नाही वी हॅव टू कीप मॅन्युफॅक्चरिंग रेकॉर्ड ऑफ इच प्रॉडक्ट अँड इच बॅच एव्हरी बॅच ऑफ इच प्रॉडक्ट वी हॅव टू कीप मॅन्युफॅक्चरिंग रेकॉर्ड अँड देन व्हाय धीस जी एम पी इज नेसेसरी good quality must be built in during the manufacturing process it cannot be tested into the product afterwards jar apan sagli process keli ata tumhi jeva ayurvedic manufacturing cha process me tumhala pude sangen he ayurveda sathi tar khup mahatvache karan ayurvedic process khup lengthy astat about 2 months 3 months process chalte ani tyanantar product tayar hoto so jar apan total product tayar jhalya nantar tyachi quality test keli आणि त्यावेळेला आपल्या लक्षात आलं की हे प्रॉडक्ट प्रॉपर नाहीये तर हे तीन महिन्याचा लॉस झाला तो झाला ही प्रोसेस सगळी वेस्ट गेली आणि शिवाय आपल्याला परत स्टार्टिंग पासनं सगळंच करावं लागतं सो हा लॉस म्हणजे मॅनचा मेथडचा मशिनरीचा कुठलाही लॉस आपल्याला वेरेबल नसतो सो फॉर दॅट वी हॅव टू टेस्ट इच अँड एव्हरी प्रोसेस इच अँड एव्हरी स्टेज ऑफ प्रोडक्शन अँड फॉर दॅट जी एम पी इन फार्मा इंडस्ट्री इज व्हेरी मच now we all know there is a major concentration on sanitized situations so human being is a natural carrier of microorganisms they are expelled when when we sneeze when we talk when we cough all this time micro thousands of microorganisms we are expelling out so this sanitization or uh, 
these processes we have to keep in mind during our production for that what things we can or how we can protect ourselves so in pharmaceutical industry we provide cap then mask and apron for each and every worker operator staff for all we provide these things then when there is a particularly uh, direct contact with the medicine that time we provide hand gloves and uh, there are also we cannot using for uh, travel through bus or anything from house to factory that shoes we cannot wear so th at that time we also provide slippers also there are some safety aspects for the operators like some safety goggles are provided or ear plugs to minimize the uh, pollution or noise pollution we provide some ear plugs also for the staff so these things must be carried out in each and every pharma industry production uh, process then we use water for production that water should be potable free from organisms so water testing should be done periodically which we are using that water is tested for microorganisms and chemical analysis also is done then we are uh, producing our uh, product or medicine in environment and that environment should be free from microorganisms so environmental count is also going on that is also scheduled and that is also done there are some limits given in indian pharmacopeia that how much uh, colonies or how much colonies are uh, available or uh, acceptable for environmental count that limit is given and accordingly the process is carried out then there should be fumigation or pest control as sg phytopharma is a ayurvedic manufacturing industry so we are using here uh, ayurvedic fumigation process we are not using formaldehyde or uh, such chemicals for fumigation periodically there are fumigation techniques we are carried out so i think uh, these basic concepts regarding pharmaceutical industry which are common for any industry uh, it will be allopathic uh, pharmaceutical or ayurvedic or homeopathy whichever pharmacy is going on this basic process should be carried out in any pharmaceutical industry so now we will concentrate on sg phytopharma and ayurvedic manufacturing hence for so ayurveda means ayu means life and veda means uh, science so ayurvedic manufacturing is the process regarding means it elaborate science regarding life any ayurvedic manufacturing process is based on two main uh, ingredients herbs and minerals so it is called as herbo mineral preparation basic ingredients are herb and mineral so it is called as herbo mineral preparation so which are the herbs used in so these are some examples which i have given used various plant parts are used as herbals basically seeds so some plants we use their seeds as a ingredient like indrajav means kuda uh, you all means you all may be knowing kuda sal there is a, i think majorly it is found in kokan area so that is kuda plant we use their seeds also and their bark also seeds are called as indrajav then aghada aghada we all know kuchla bi or, or kajra cha bia might be you, you all might be knowing so like this some seeds are used uh, bark of some plants are used like chinsa tamarind or kuda then some fruits are used like bel आपण शिवाला शंकराला जे बेल वाहतो त्याचं फळ बेल बेल फळ म्हटलं जातं त्याला दॅट वी युज और आवळा सगळ्यांना माहितीच आहे देन सम लिव आर युज लाईक गुडमार और नागवेलीची पाने मीन्स खाऊची पाने विड्याची पाने जी आपण जे नॉर्मल आपण पानं खातो 
पान खातो त्याची ती पानही वापरली जातात देन देर आर सम रूट लाईक रुई रुईचं झाड सगळ्यांना माहिती आहे सो त्या रुईच्या झाडाची मुळं वापरली जातात अँड सम प्लांट होल प्लांट इज यूज लाईक लाजाळू लाजाळूचं झाड सगळ्यांना माहिती असेल टच मी नॉट प्लांट सो दॅट होल प्लांट पंचांग म्हटलं जातं त्याला दॅट होल प्लांट इज युज और आघाडा समटाइम्स इट्स सीड्स आर युज अँड समटाइम्स इट्स होल प्लांट इज युज पंचांग इज युज सो देर आर सम हर्बल दीज आर सम हर्बल इनग्रेडियंट्स विच वी आर युजिंग देन मिनरल्स लाईक सल्फर गंधक देन मर्क्युरी पारा अँड आर्सेनिक कंपाउंड आर युज अँड मेटल्स लाईक लेड कॉपर आयन दीज आर ऑल्सो युज सो दीज आर बेसिक इनग्रेडियंट युज इन हर्बो मिनरल प्रिपरेशन और आयुर्वेदिक फॉर्म्युलेशन इन हर्बल्स देर आर डायरेक्ट प्रोसेस और डायरेक्ट चूर्णा इज देअर मीन्स ड्राय फॉर्म ऑफ एनी मटेरियल इज युज सीड्स और बार्क और लिव्स We purchase that raw form or direct uh, dried form of that particular part. It is screened for any foreign particle. If there is any foreign foreign particle, it is removed and the screen clean material is then pulverized to get final churna. This is called as direct churna. It it has uh, not undergone any process. It is directly powdered, screened and powdered. So these are called as direct herbal churna. Some herbal materials are also poisonous like kuchla bhi aur kajra cha bhi that they are also uh, highly poisonous when we are using directly but there is a shodhan vidhi given in textbook of ayurveda for that particular product so kuchla cha bhi as shown in the picture this is called as swing apparatus or dola yantra vidhi in ayurveda so in this process kajracha bi aur kuchla bi that is tied in a cloth it is kept in a vessel in a uh, swing position it is not touched touching the base of the vessel and this uh, material is boiled there are various shodhan vidhi shodhan dravya given uh, for particular ingredients for kuchla bi it should be boiled in a milk cow milk so cow milk is taken the material is kept in that cow milk and it is boiled for about 8 hours after 8 hours the material is removed it is washed cleaned dried and then pulverized so there is some process or there is some treatment given for that particular ingredient so this is not direct churna this is process churna we are calling as process churna so this is chodan vidhi for kuchla bi likewise some there are dhotra cha bi then there are bachanak bachanak means there is a root of a particular uh, plant it is a very poison uh, treating some uh, shodhan means purification process are going on and then it is powdered this powder is also a churna process then there is a minerals like uh, i said sulfur or para mercury mercury is treated as highly poisonous in allopathy but in ayurveda there are seven various ingredients in which the mercury is triturated continuously triturated for about 7 to 8 days and after that 8 days the mercury is uh, it is purified and this purified mercury is combined it is not directly used it is combined with uh, purified sulfur and then the kajjali means there is a mixture which is in black color that mixture is called as samagandha kajjali it is prepared it is basically mercury chloride form which is not poisonous so mercury sulfide form sorry which is not poisonous so likewise there are shodhan vidhi for minerals also particular for particular mineral particular shodhan vidhi is given in text and that we are carrying out then there is a bhasma means metals metals are very hard are first there is a process for bhasma so that the metal is converted into powder form and it is uh, taken in our body for this bhasma there are first is shodhana means that metal is firstly heated 
that metal gets melted that molten metal is then poured in a particular dravya now in this picture you can see there is a kadhai and in that kadhai there is a til tel or sesame oil in that the molten metal is poured it gets solidified that form is again removed it is again heated and again poured in that til tel likewise in til tel seven times that particular metal is heated and poured the tail is removed and in that kadhai uh, butter milk is taken butter milk means tak is taken tak given tachat uh, he parat hi shodhan vidhi keli jate every time we have to heat that metal melt it that molten metal we should pour in that particular dravya it gets solidified remove again heat likewise seven times in each dravya firstly in sesame oil then in butter milk then in cow milk then in fermented rice or we call as kanji tandala chi kanji and then it kulit kada kulit uh, is there kidney beans in that we uh, kada is prepared and in that the shodhan vidhi is carried out every time metal is heated and poured so after 35 times of heat treatment the metal gets softened and this softened metal is then treated for maran process that is this metal is triturated in kadhai with tamarind and pimple bark ya donni jhadancha sali chinch and pimple sal vaprun tacha maran kela jata means that particular metal is converted in powder form metal marla there are uh, particular words for particular process in ayurveda and that describes the actual process maran means that metal is marla jata and that is converted into powder form shodhana marana and then final process is amrutikaran amrutikaran means this this powder which is maran metal that powder is converted uh, or treated with corford juice aloe vera juice and after that it its medicinal properties are increased enhanced so maran kartana sudha powder tayar jali that powder is treated with corford its ras corford juice after trituration the material semi solid mass is removed it is dried pulverized that powder is heated in kadhai again it is taken for trituration with corford ras again it is dried powder and heated likewise five times or seven times the process is carried out and after complete amrutikaran or after this process the metal or bhasma is prepared totally prepared so from shodhana marana to amrutikaran this complete process takes about two and half to three months time so bhasma banavtana शोधन पासून अमृती करण्यापर्यंतची ही जी प्रोसेस आहे ह्याला साधारण तीन महिन्याचा प्रोसेस वेळ लागतो आणि म्हणून मी जे सुरुवातीला सांगितलं की भस्म तयार झाल्यानंतर त्याची क्वालिटी टेस्ट करून त्याच्यात जर आपल्याला प्रॉब्लेम सापडला तर मुळात आपल्याला असं कळलं की रॉ मटेरियलच त्या क्वालिटीचं नव्हतं तर ही तीन महिन्याची जी प्रोसेस आपण केलेली आहे ही सगळी वेस्ट गेली सो स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम रॉ मटेरियल इच अँड एव्हरी प्रोसेस टू फिनिश प्रोडक्ट सगळ्या ठिकाणी जर आपण जी एम पी लागू केलं ऑर वी फॉलो द गुड मॅन्युफॅक्चरिंग प्रॅक्टिसेस प्रत्येक ठिकाणी जर आपलं इन्स्पेक्शन व्यवस्थित असलं देन आपलं प्रॉडक्ट जे फायनल तयार होणार आहे हे क्वालिटी प्रॉडक्टच असणार आहे सो फॉर धीस जी एम पी ऑर गुड मॅन्युफॅक्चरिंग मॅन्युफॅक्चरिंग प्रॅक्टिसेस आर व्हेरी इसेन्शियल समजत आहे सगळ्यांना लक्षात येत आहेत ना प्रोसेस सो नेक्स्ट टाइप ऑफ प्रोडक्ट इन आयुर्वेदा इज खलवी रसायन द नेम डिस्क्राइब रसायन इन आयुर्वेदा मीन्स व्हेन देअर इज यूज ऑफ मिनरल्स और भस्मा इट इज कॉल्ड एज रसायन सो खलवी रसायन मीन्स खलात तयार केलेलं प्रिपेअर्ड इन खल एज खलवी रसायन इट इन्क्लूड्स इनग्रेडियंट्स लाईक हर्बल चुर्णास विच आर डायरेक्टली प्रिपेअर्ड और प्युरिफाईड चुर्णास 
then minerals which are purified and used and bhasma all these when triturated with aqueous extract to get semi solid mass it is called as khalvi rasayan uh for particular product samjha ata apan sut shekhar ha product tayar karat asu sut shekhar is a khalvi rasayan it is a one of the khalvi rasayan so when we are preparing sut shekhar there are 16 different ingredients which includes some churnas some bhasmas and these all churnas and bhasmas triturated with maka kada maka sagar so its aqueous extract is prepared and these all ingredients are triturated with this with that it semi solid mass normally a cycle of trituration is of 24 hours but it's not continuous 24 hours we have to break uh, after about 8 or 10 hours uh, let the material be there in the form to absorb the aqueous aqueous extract and again we have to start the trituration like this when 24 hours are complete we can remove that semi solid mass or we can extend the 24 hours trituration is a must so the uh, after this semi solid mass is removed and again tested for final uh, qc inspection then there is another type is kupi pakwa rasayan kupi means bottle which you can see in that uh, picture there is a bottle that bottle is called as kupi in ayurvedic banavlelo tyachat tayar zalelo so kupi pakwa rasayan अगली अपन बगित खलवी रसायन खला तैयार हो रहा कुपी पक्व रसायन कुपीत तैयार हो रहा सो दीज आर बॉटल्स दीज आर एम टी बीयर बॉटल्स विच वी आर परचेसिंग दीज आर क्लीन वॉश्ड एंड दे आर प्लास्टर कवर मीन्स गोपी चंदन मांजरपाट कापड़ा लेयर्स दिल जाता वाय ओनली बीयर बॉटल्स आर यूज बिकॉज दे आर हार्ड बॉटल्स they can uh, have heat resistant property so tyacha sathi apan ya empty beer bottle vaparto wash karun tyala parat manjarpat kapad ani gopichandan se layers dile jatat and in that particular bottle we fill 500 g of kajjali that kajjali includes purified sulfur purified mercury purified arsenic compounds these all ingredients are triturated in a mixer for about 40 hours and that powder is filled in particular bottle likewise 20 bottles at a time are kept in a sand bath for this 8 uh, hours process is carried out firstly we have to give manda agni low flame then we have to increase the flame for medium and lastly the tivra agni or high flame is given every time the met, uh, the kajjali which is in powder form it converts slowly into liquid stage uh, during this process there is a gas formation so we have to release that gas using sali or uh, stick there is a sali the sali pratyek vela apan tya bottle cha tondatna at ghalto tatna gas release hoto ani gas release jala ki te material je asto te halu halu metal cha uh, powder cha liquid form madhe convert hoto after 8 hours about 8 hours that completely it is in liquid state we stop the flame we keep the bottles in that sand bath for about 48 hours as it is because the sand is hot there is some reaction going on in that hot sand so 48 hours we keep the bottles as it in as it is in that sand bath and after 48 hours we remove the bottles break from the bottom and uh, shown as per shown in the picture we get that vati we called as it is a samir pannak vati it is a talastha rasayan talastha means talat tayar hoto base la tayar hoto bottle cha so it is called as talastha rasayan so that form or that solid block which we are uh, seeing in the picture that is called as samir pannak it is a ready rasayan ready product 
we have to just powder it and use in final product so this is kupi pakwa rasa hai then another form is parpati parpati means thin flake like preparation prepared on banana leaves थोड सोप्या भाषे संगा बहुते सुरली वड़ा महती जी प्रोसेस कि गरम पटपट पसर तो जेनेकर पत फॉर्म तैयार हो पताइज हि परपटी प्रोसेस के लिए जो परपटी मीन्स तीन लेर वहां पाजे द मेटल द पाउडर इज हिटेड इन कढ़ाई आणि जेव्हा ती सेमी सॉलिड ती पूर्ण लिक्विड होत नाही जेव्हा सेमी सॉलिड होईल ती लगेच काढून हॉट असतानाच ती बनाना लिव्ह वर पसरली जाते आणि ती पसरून पातळ त्याचा लेअर करायचा ती लगेच ड्राय होतो आणि लाईट ड्राय झालेला जो हा फॉर्म आता आपल्याला पिक्चरमध्ये दिसतोय त्याला इव्हन आपल्याला जर बारकाईने बघितलं तर बनानाच्या त्या रेषा सुद्धा आपल्याला त्या परपटीवर आलेल्या दिसतात सो इतका पातळ फॉर्म त्याचा व्हायला पाहिजे दिस Uh, type of product or this type of preparation is called as parpati then another form in ayurvedic preparation is kshar kshar means salt formation formation jasa mi shuruvatila je ingredients sangitle there are some uh, seeds are used uh, some leaves are used and sometimes whole part whole plant is used आघाडा पंचांग पंचांग म्हटलं म्हटलं जातं त्याला त्याला सगळं राईट फ्रॉम रूट टू द फ्रूट ऑल पार्ट आर युज ऍट अ टाइम सो ते आघाडा पंचांग म्हटलं जातं सो दॅट आघाडा पंचांग आता क्षार फॉर्मेशन कशी असते तर फायटोफार्मा मध्ये आघाडा क्षार हा एक क्षार तयार केला जातो सो मी ती प्रोसेस तुम्हाला सांगते लाईकवाईज कुठलाही क्षार हा तयार केला जातो ज्या मटेरियलचा क्षार बनवायचा आहे दॅट पर्टिक्युलर प्लांट ऑर दॅट पर्टिक्युलर पार्ट इज टोटली बर्न आणि ते बंद झाल्यानंतर ती जी राख असते ती जी ऍश असते दॅट इज सोक्ड इन वॉटर अँड आफ्टर दॅट इट इज द सुपरनेटंट इज रिमूव्ह अँड इट इज इव्हॅपरेटेड टील ड्रायनेस आफ्टर दॅट वी गेट सॉल्ट इन दॅट कढाई अँड दॅट सॉल्ट इज कॉल्ड ऍज क्षार इन आयुर्वेदा सो जेव्हा आपण आघाडा क्षारचं जर उदाहरण बघितलं तर अबाउट फायव्ह हंड्रेड के जी जेव्हा आपण आघाडा बंद करतो तेव्हा आपल्याला त्याची कम्प्लीट प्रोसेस होऊन म्हणजे त्याच्यापासून अबाउट सिक्स्टी टू सेवन्टी के जी आपल्याला ऍश किंवा राख मिळते आणि ती राखेपासून आपल्याला तयार क्षार हा साधारण थर्टीन टू फोर्टीन के जी क्षार आपल्याला मिळतो मीन्स आफ्टर फायव्ह हंड्रेड के जी ऑफ बर्निंग ऑफ आघाडा वी गेट ओनली फिफ्टीन के जी ऑफ क्षार सो अशी एवढी लेंदी किंवा एवढी टीडीएस प्रोसेस ही आयुर्वेदामध्ये प्रॉडक्शनची आहे देन देअर इज अ तैल प्रोसेस और तेल बनवलं जातं जे तेल बनवलं जातं दॅट इज कॉल्ड एज सिद्ध तेल सिद्ध का तर तेल बनवताना काही वेळेला त्या इन्ग्रेडियंटचा काढा बनवला जातो एखादं उदाहरण जर घ्यायचं झालं तर महानारायण तेल महानारायण तेलाला जवळपास पंचवीस एक इन्ग्रेडियंटचा काढा बनवला जातो एक्वेस एक्स्ट्रॅक्ट त्याचा प्रिपेअर केला जातो दॅट एक्वे एक्वेस एक्स्ट्रॅक्ट इज देन मिक्स्ड विथ काउज मिल्क गाईच्या दुधात तो मिक्स केला जातो गाईचं दूध का पर्टिक्युलरली वापरलं जातं तर त्याला ऍक्शन अशी आहे की ते पोर्स ओपन होतात स्किनचे गाईच्या दुधामुळे स्किन पोर्स ओपन होतात आणि ते जे तेल आहे मेडिकेटेड तेल आहे ते आपल्या आतपर्यंत जाऊन त्याचा इफेक्ट चांगला मिळतो सो मेनली बेसिक म्हणजे स्पेसिफिकली काउज मिल्क हे वापरलं जातं सो दॅट एक्वेस एक्स्ट्रॅक्ट इज मिक्स्ड विथ काउज मिल्क इट इज बॉइल्ड आणि त्याच्यात नंतर तिळ तेल वापरलं जातं कुठलंही आयुर्वेदिक तेल बनवताना त्याला बेस जे वापरलं जातं हे तिळ तेलच असतं सीसेम ऑइलच वापरलं जातं सो तिळ तेल त्याच्यात वापरलं जातं आणि इट इज हिटेड कधीपर्यंत हिट करायचं तर ह्या सगळ्यातलं मॉइश्चर जाऊन ओनली ऑइल फॉर्म राहायला पाहिजे म्हणजे त्यातलं मॉइश्चर मेडिकल प्रॉपर्टीज त्याच्या एक्स्ट्रॅक्ट मधल्या ज्या काही आहेत त्या सगळ्या तेलामध्ये ऍप्सॉप होतात आणि असं होऊन जेव्हा फक्त ऑइल फॉर्म राहील तोपर्यंत आपण ते हिट करायचं आणि हे सगळं झाल्यामुळे ह्याला सिद्ध केलेलं तेल म्हणतात म्हणून सिद्ध तेल म्हणतात सो मेडिकेटेड ऑइल और सिद्ध तेल ह्या पद्धतीने जातो सो हे बेसिक सगळे आयुर्वेदाचे फॉर्म्स आहेत वेगवेगळे ज्या काही प्रकार केले जातात 
हे सगळे फॉर्म्स वापरून आता हे जे तेल तयार झालंय हे डायरेक्टली आपण त्याचं लिनिमेंट किंवा त्याचे वेगवेगळे आता काही वेळेला हे डिरेक्टली इनटेक पण केला जातो या ह्याचा कॅप्सूल भरून सुद्धा त्या वापरल्या जातात और इट इज अप्लाइड ऑन स्किन ऑल्सो अशा पद्धतीने त्याचा इफेक्ट होतो किंवा आता आपण ही जी खलवी रसायन कुपी पक्व रसायन चूर्ण हे जे काही फॉर्म्स बघितले परपटी हे सगळे फॉर्म्स आपण कॅप्सूल मध्ये भरून त्या कॅप्सूल्स आपण युज करतो सो बेसिक हे सगळे फॉर्म्स आहेत आयुर्वेदामधले आणि ह्याच्यापासनं प्रोपराइटरी किंवा फायनल प्रॉडक्ट हे बनत असतं हे सगळे इन्ग्रेडियंट्स वापरून सो आता ह्या सगळ्या इन्ग्रेडियंट्स हे सगळे आयुर्वेदाचा कन्सेप्ट झाला फॉर एनी आयुर्वेदिक मॅन्युफॅक्चरिंग ड्रग्ज अँड कॉस्मेटिक ऍक्ट आहे मी जसं सांगितलं कुठल्याही फार्मसीसाठी ड्रग्ज अँड कॉस्मेटिक ऍक्ट हा लागू होतोच फॉर पर्टिक्युलरली आयुर्वेदा देर इज अ शेड्यूल टी विच गिव्ह गाईडलाईन्स रिगार्डिंग जी एम पी ऑल्सो अँड रिगार्डिंग रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ फॅक्टरी प्रिमायसेस अँड हायजेनिक कंडिशन या सगळ्याच्या माहिती आपल्याला ड्रग्ज अँड कॉस्मेटिक ऍक्टच्या शेड्यूल टी मध्ये मिळतात देन शेड्यूल यू डिस्क्राईब्स पर्टिक्युलर्स टू बी शोन इन मॅन्युफॅक्चरिंग रेकॉर्ड्स जसं मी सांगितलं की ईच अँड एव्हरी बॅच ईच अँड एव्हरी प्रॉडक्ट आपल्याला त्याचं मॅन्युफॅक्चरिंग रेकॉर्ड बॅच मॅन्युफॅक्चरिंग रेकॉर्ड मेंटेन करावंच लागतं सो वॉट शुड बी देअर इन पर्टिक्युलर मॅन्युफॅक्चरिंग रेकॉर्ड दॅट ऑल डिटेल्स आर गिव्हन इन शेड्यूल यू ऑफ अ ड्रग्ज अँड कॉस्मेटिक ऍक्ट मॅन्युफॅक्चरिंग डेट काय असणार एक्सपायरी डेट काय असणार त्याचा बॅच नंबर त्याच्यात वापरलेले इन्ग्रेडियंट्स त्याच्या पर्टिक्युलर्स मॅन कोण होत मेथड कुठली वापरली मशीन्स कुठले वापरले सगळी रेकॉर्ड्स आपल्याला प्रत्येक बॅचच्या प्रत्येक प्रॉडक्ट वरती आपल्याला ही लिहावीच लागते सो दॅट गाईडलाईन्स आर गिव्हन इन शेड्यूल यू ऑफ ड्रग्ज अँड कॉस्मेटिक ऍक्ट देन तुम्हाला सगळ्यांना माहितीच आहे की आयुर्वेद इंडियन फार्माकोपिया ब्रिटिश फार्माकोपिया यु एस फार्माकोपिया सगळ्यांना माहितीच आहेत लाईकवाईज देअर आर आयुर्वेदिक फार्माकोपिया फॉर आयुर्वेदिक इंडस्ट्रीज हाऊ टू कॅरी आउट एनी प्रोसेस इट इज डिस्क्राईब इन आयुर्वेदिक फार्माकोपिया किंवा ड्रग्ज अँड कॉस्मेटिक ऍक्ट मधल्याच शेड्यूल वन मध्ये काही गाहे दिलेली आहेत बुक्सची नावं दिलेली आहेत त्या बुक्स नुसार आपण आयुर्वेदिक प्रिपरेशन करू शकतो त्याच्यात आयुर्वेदिक कुठली बुक स्टँडर्ड आहेत याची सगळी माहिती दिलेली आहे लिस्ट दिलेली आहे त्यानुसार मॅन्युफॅक्चरिंग केलं जात अँड फॉर अनालिसिस टेस्टिंग ऑफ आयुर्वेदिक प्रॉडक्ट कारण जेव्हा केमिकल अलोपॅथी इंडस्ट्री असते त्याचा ऍक्टिव्ह इन्ग्रेडियंट हा कन्सेप्ट असतो फॉर दॅट ऍक्टिव्ह इन्ग्रेडियंट हाऊ टू कॅल्क्युलेट दॅट ऑर हाऊ टू म्हणजे त्याचा अनालिसिस कसा करायचा ह्या प्रोसेस आपल्याला आय पी यु पी बी एस पी मध्ये मिळतात बट फॉर आयुर्वेदा ऍक्टिव्ह इन्ग्रेडियंट हा कन्सेप्ट नाहीये आयुर्वेदामध्ये सगळ्याच क्युम्युलेटिव्ह इफेक्ट मिळत असतं सो आपण ऍक्टिव्ह इन्ग्रेडियंट असं कुठेच कॅल्क्युलेट करू शकत नाही जिथे आपण मिनरल्स मेटल्स वापरले तिथे आपण त्याचं क्वांटिटेटिव्ह अनालिसिस करू शकतो आणि तो कसा करायचा आहे दॅट गाईडलाईन्स आर गिव्हन इन फार्मास्युटिकल स्टँडर्ड फॉर आयुर्वेदिक फॉर्म्युलेशन पी एस ए एफ म्हणून आपण हे सगळं टेस्टिंग करत असतो सो जर शॉर्टकट मध्ये बघायचं झालं किंवा एक ठोकता काढायचं झाला तर आयुर्वेदिक प्रोसेस काय असते तर रॉ मटेरियल इट इज प्रोसेस्ड द प्रॉडक्ट इज प्रिपेअर्ड द प्रॉडक्ट इज इन्स्पेक्टेड बाय क्यू सी डिपार्टमेंट इफ इट इज ओके इट इज रिलीज केलं जातं इफ द कस्टमर इज सॅटिस्फाईड देन इट डेव्हलप्स अनदर रिक्वायरमेंट इट जनरेट्स रिक्वायरमेंट आणि त्या रिक्वायरमेंट मधनं परत प्रॉडक्ट प्रिपरेशन त्या होत आणि परत त्या प्रॉडक्ट प्रिपरेशन साठी रॉ मटेरियल वापरलं जातं ही अशी थोडक्यात चेन असते कुठल्याही प्रोसेसची हीच चेन असते प्रोडक्शन प्रोसेसची तर ह्या पद्धतीने सगळं केलं जातं फक्त इथे रॉ मटेरियल टू प्रॉडक्ट ही जी प्रोसेस आहे ही आयुर्वेदामध्ये खूप डिफिकल्ट किंवा खूप लेंदी आहे डिफिकल्ट ऍज सच म्हणता येणार नाही पण लेंदी आहे आणि त्यासाठी गुड मॅन्युफॅक्चरिंग प्रॅक्टिसेस आर मस्ट आहे so ayurvedic remedies are holistic in their action and have negligible side effects kutla hi product la side effects nahit effect nahit tacha effect ch nasto asa mhatla jau shakel tamhe pratyek gosti la side effect he astatach fakta te agdi minor astat kiwa negligible astat ayurvedic preparations madhe so ayurvedic products are 
considered as मिनिमल साइड इफेक्ट प्रॉडक्ट्स सो आता हे सगळं सांगितलं मी पण आता आपण ह्याच्याशी रिलेटेड एक छोटीशी व्हिडिओ क्लिप बघूया एस जी फायटो फार्माची हॅज ऑफर्ड अस टू बेस ब्रेंच प्लांट्स अँड एनिमल्स कोणीतरी म्हणजे प्रॉपर व्हिडिओ ऐकू येतोय ना ऑडिओ ऐकू येतोय ना यस मॅम ऐकू येतोय आवाज यस ओके प्लांट्स अँड प्लांट प्रॉडक्ट्स हॅव ऑलवेज बीन द मेन स्टे ऑफ आवर डाएट Ayurveda The most ancient science has tapped these natural resources after the due treatment made into therapeutic agents and has developed a very effective healthcare support system Since the 14th century minerals from earth have also been explored for their medicinal efficiency and are included in the healthcare recipe Phytopharma as implied by the name is a pharmaceutical company which develops the medicines from phyton phytopharma is located at kolapu a historic city situated on the plateau of western ghats 400 km away from mumbai being adjacent to the konkan area which is rich in natural bounty company enjoys the unique advantage of getting the genuine and fresh plant materials phytopharma has an unflinching faith in religiously adhering to wisdom and practices advocated by ayurveda at the same time the company believes in modernizing the process developing the pharmaceutical culture and system as advocated by gmp that is good manufacturing practices as a result phytopharma is an iso 9001 2000 company certified by the american quality assessors agency The manufacturing activity at Phytopharma begins with the processing of herbs and putting them into the intermediates and then the final formulation followed by packing. Hello friends. I am DJ Manager of Phytopharma. Phytopharma stands for S that is Center of Hygiene for the two pioneers.
The company has housed these activities at two locations, both in the MIDC at Gokul Shirgao area of Kolhapur. All the processing activity is done at B53 unit, whereas the formulation and packaging operations are done at D21 unit. Process at B53 unit begins with the receipt of raw material taken from the plant kingdom, such as a whole plant, parts, leaves, stems, plant exudates, roots or flowers, and even the seeds and seed oils, and also the minerals in the form of metals or crude ores. This material is thoroughly screened before the use for its identity, physical status, and even for the physical and chemical purity by our quality control laboratory. This laboratory is well equipped with the modern analytical gadgetry like spectrophotometer, infrared moisture balance, sensitive weighing balance, furnace, digestion time machine, oven, incubator, and is looked upon by the well-trained chemist, botanist, and microbiologist. The laboratory is also supported by the latest reference books on analytical methods. The approved materials are then sent to the well-organized stores for cleaning, sorting, and packing in the container. They are then labeled for identity information, such as the source, quantity, date of receipt, and analytical report number. The store on demand then supplies these materials to the production department after verifying the quantities involved. The inventory management is regulated through a software specially developed for the purpose. The herbal or plant material selected is used in the powder form, processed with the help of disintegrator and pulverizer for inclusion in the intermediates or in the final formulations, whereas the same is used in cars form for making a kadha, that is a decoction, which is used in processing the intermediates and for preparation of siddha oils. Before actual processing, many of the plant materials undergo shodhan vidhi, that is, the purification, such as aconite and strychnos nux vomica in milk. The metals and crude ores need more serious attention as they are exposed to the uncontrolled vagaries of nature. They are purified by subjecting the material to panchadravya shodhan vidhi. The process involving five types of materials, namely sea sam oil, buttermilk, cow urine, kulit kadha, and kanji, that is the fermented rice, in which the molten metals are immersed for seven times. The purification of mercury and sulfur needs a special mention. Mercury is purified by triturating it in hand hull with seven types of herbs including garlic, plumbago zilanica, aloe vera, turmeric, lemon and lastly washing it with water. Sulfur is purified by pouring the molten sulfur in milk and washing it with water. Kajjali is prepared by mixing the pure forms of mercury and sulfur in a hand hull for 80 hours. The further activities at the processing unit involve the making of bhasma, halvi rasayan, kupista rasayan, siddha oil, chavan prash, and granules. The making of bhasma also begins with the shodhan vidhi followed by Maran Vidhi and Amruti Karan. Maran is carried out by beating the purified metal in open iron vessel and constantly triturating molten metal with coarse coarse plant material such as tamarind and pimple bar. The process continues for weeks together when in between at least six times the powders formed are ground in a grinder with aloe juice, dried and again beaten Till all the metal is converted into powder. The process is known as Amritikaran. For Kalvi Rasayan, tested and approved intermediates in form of churnas.
Bhakti, Gukul are triturated in grinder in presence of plant decoction one after the other. This is known as Bhavana. When all the Bhavanas are over, the semi-solid mass is dried in a dryer and heated by hot air boiler. For making Kupishtha Rasayan, the material especially containing mercury, sulfur, arsenic is placed in bottles covered with cloth and multani mass. The bottles are heated in sand bath following a three-phase heating, low fire, medium fire, strong fire. The material at the bottom is removed and powdered. Siddha oils are prepared by digesting plant decoction and milk in sesame oil by heating and filtering the oil. Mahanarayan oil is manufactured by this method. To maintain the strict integrity of the medicinal preparations, the Quality Control Department stringently monitors all the operations and functions by testing the in-process materials and even the final formulation. Microbiological testing is done to confirm the absence of pathogens. Also, the maintenance of hygienic conditions is considered as an extremely important aspect at every stage. Periodic checkup for microbiological load of environment as well as that of the equipment is carried out from time to time. Personal inspection of the manufacturing operators goes on throughout the ship. Every batch is tested for the acute toxicity studies at the biochemistry department of Shivaji. Stability studies are also conducted from time to time. The final formulation and packing activity is done at D21 unit. As per the batch size, required approved intermediates are supplied by the processing unit. They are further thoroughly mixed for three hours. The sample of this mixture tested by the quality controlled laboratory. Further on approval, the material is filled in capsules, which are then sorted polished, blister packed, and finally in boxes. Liniment batch is taken up after receiving the approved Mahanara and oil. On proper mixing of the ingredients with the same, the ready liniment is filled, labeled, and packed in the boxes. Phytopharma has developed a wide distribution network in different states whereby it caters the needs of the customer through the efficient lineup of stockists. The Ayurvedic formulations of phytopharma are backed by a number of clinical trials and efficacy studies and have earned the faith of medical fraternity all over. Being aware of the importance of documentation, phytopharma is very keen on this aspect and maintains the thorough documentation, whether about the manufacturing or about the product studies. The Ayurvedic medicines of phytopharma, manufactured in the light and spirit of the traditional heritage, have won the confidence of the modern world. With this asset to its credit, on completion of the Silver Jubilee year of its inception, phytopharma is now planning to go global for popularizing the oriental system of Ayurveda for the benefit of the ailing humanity all over the world. Proper the two base frames, plants and animals. So that's all from my side. Any questions are there? Yes, dear students, please feel free to ask if you have any queries. Uh, well, ma'am, uh, while students are thinking about this, uh, I have one query. Can I ask? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, as you mentioned, all these uh, products you prepare uh, with the actual traditional way, uh, which yes. has, which are mentioned in the Ayurvedic pharmacopoeia, etc. Uh, and then you mentioned that uh, you supply these uh, these products uh, in the capsule form as well. Uh, yes. So. Uh, 
are there any method for uh, means capsule means it it is a regular gelatin capsule no yes right okay are there any uh, developments uh, regarding uh, uh, any type of capsule which is mentioned in ayurvedic formulation actually there is no a uh, particular capsule uh, mentioned in ayurveda okay. but as the products as the powders or churnas they are somewhat somewhat bitter in taste so mm -hmm. uh, it is uh, not uh, suitable for patients to take directly mm -hmm. so we have modernized uh, these uh, ingredients we put in capsule form and okay. now we have developed also some uh, products are in tablet form also that is okay. film coated tablets or like what okay fine means it is uh, regularly used uh, gelatin which is uh, used in yes yes capsules. hard gelatin capsules we are using okay okay yes thank you yes yes, yes thank you so i think there are no questions sagana khup changla paddhatine samajle kiwa kai samajlel nahi so <laughs> because ayurvedic processes are really uh, lengthy and somewhat tedious to understand ऐक्चुअली जेव इतने यून बगित जता कुछ थोड़ाफार का गोषी समझता सो मजा परि ने मैं बराज प्रयत्न के समझा समझने के दृष्टि ने वीडियो क्लिप सुधा मैं दाखिल सो लेट सी बहुत समझला अस Yes, 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 ma'am. I think there are no any queries because you have explained the things in a very simple way. So yes, thank you so much, ma'am, for explaining all the concepts about Ayurvedic medicines in a very simple language. And also, the video that you have shown is very useful to our students for understanding the actual working of SG five two, starting from raw material, its storage, manufacturing till documentation. Yes. So yes, definitely your session have a significant impact on every student. So thank you so much for this informative session, and uh, yes, thank you. yes, and again thank you so much for devoting your precious time and energy with us. Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, thank you. Uh, so dear students, uh, now we'll have a lunch break of one hour, I think. So we'll rejoin this meet at sharp one fifty p.m. for the second session. Yes, am I right, Umka sir? Yes, ma'am. Yes, that's true. All right. Okay. So, <clears> yes, <throat> students, you can leave this meet and rejoin this session at one fifty p.m. for the second session. Yes. Thank you so much to all. <clears throat> Yes, uh, Namita ma'am, shall I uh, end the meeting now? Yes, yes. Yes. Okay.